everyone um, back again just uh, to let you guys know that I how life was as a breatharian on a cruise ship and before I went on the cruise ship I thought that it was gonna be the middle of the Caribbean Sea and it's gonna be completely relaxing and I was just gonna have this completely like all kinds of vegan liquid options and and I thought I would get so much prana I would just like uh, be on on the ship and just absorbing all this energy um, and I thought that a window uh, room would do and I didn't really think that a balcony is, was necessary so I just got a window room. It was quite the opposite. I mean even though I was in the middle of the Caribbean Sea, I just, um, there was just so much different kind of energy everywhere that I just really didn't feel connected to the ocean or to the earth. It was just, uh, there was always loud music and then even when I w would go up on the, on the uh, deck there was just people everywhere and I just didn't feel the connection to the ocean at all, uh, unlike what I thought I was going to feel. So that was quite interesting uh, and I would uh, go and look out in my room at the ocean and it was, it was nice but I wanted to really be outside. So one of my uh, family, my uncle and aunt, they had got a room that had a balcony and I would go on the balcony and I just was like, oh my God, it just made such a big difference. You really felt the connection because you didn't have all every all the energy and other people's noise and the swimming pool and the big screen TV going on right outside the pool because that's what they do. They have this big screen TV as you're swimming and you can watch TV and all that. So there's just so much noise and so much different kind of energy on the boat that when I went into my um, uncle and aunt's room and they had a balcony and I was like, okay, you know what, next time I go on a cruise, I'm going to get a balcony. Regarding the vegan uh, liquids, it was um, in the mornings you can get juice and coffee and tea and then that's kind of what I had in the morning. I mean, normally I should wait until noon, but on the cruise ship it was just kind of like, okay, breakfast time, everyone go to breakfast time. So I'd go to breakfast and I'd have coffee or um, actually I wouldn't have juice, I'd just have coffee. And uh, then it was lunch time and then I would go and see what was for lunch and basically for lunch what was there for lunch was like they really didn't have much they would have some uh, tomato sauce with the um, with the with the spaghetti but the tomato sauce was kind of not really like after a day or two it was like I don't want any more tomato sauce and what I would do is in, in the tomato sauce I'd put some barbecue sauce in it and I would put some other kind of sauce in it and and try to like spice it up or put some Tabasco sauce in it and things like that but um, yeah, lunch uh, options were not that great. But for dinner, um, we had a sit-down uh, place and our head waiter was Indian and he just thought it was really weird that I wasn't going to have any solids and so I told him my food requirements. So I said vegan liquids and he was just like, vegan liquids, okay, what is that? <laughs> and then he looked at me in a really shocked way. He's like, well, well, how do you live? Like, how do you get the energy to um, live? And then I was like... Um, I said through prana and he was Indian he was like okay <laughs> through prana I mean he didn't do it in, in like a put he wasn't putting me down but it was just kind of like okay whatever you know if it's working for you and my mom uh, uh, he asked my mom he goes where does she get all the uh, you know how does she get energy and she's like well you know she does she she just drinks and she gets more she has more energy than we do so that was kind of a nice thing to hear uh, from her but um, yeah, so basically uh, he would try to get some like lentil soup or tomato soup and uh, different kinds of soups for, for dinner time and, and, and that worked out well. And actually a lot of my relatives who were just, um, who, were, who were not uh, into like even vegetarianism, they would eat um, meat and all that. They just loved the liquids that he was giving me. So they would, they would kind of have some of it as well, which is fine because I couldn't drink all of that. I also just want to show you some of the highlights of the places we went. One of the places we went was uh, Maho Beach, and that's actually where you feel like the plane is going to come and hit you, so it's about to land, and it goes right over your head. I'm trying to videotape it to show you, uh, but um, kind of showing you here. There you go. The plane is landing, so it's kind of a weird feeling. Uh, and these are some more of the highlights from the trip, and they had some uh, dress-up nights as well, so you can see some photos here of that and just to show you that I had a wonderful time. Anyways, um, that's all I have to say, but thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.